Hey, it's the Zach Sang Show. Hi. And we got Heather. Mm -hmm. We got Dan. That's Dan. And we have Maddie Ziggler. Mackenzie. Mackenzie Ziggler. Uh, you know, every time somebody comes in and they <laughs> go, right. this is the way you need to pronounce their name, in my brain, I think the complete opposite. And I probably got it really close to right originally. It's okay, okay you right. sure? Yeah. Okay. Starting off strong. I know. <laughs> Hi, Mackenzie. Thanks for coming out. Come on. Wait, it's your ah. sister's name. It is my sister's yeah. name. Oh, really? Yeah, Mackenzie's a good name. It means, I feel like there's a lot of good vibes and good spirits around the name Mackenzie. Yeah? Yeah. How, how's life going? <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, can you, like, describe your life for me in, like, a couple words? Because it's it, from, like, looking inside, just through the internet, it looks a little crazy. It's pretty fun, I yeah. would say. Yeah. I'm really crazy with all of the stuff that I'm doing, like, going on tour and, I mean, doing all these jobs, but... I think it's super fun. The jobs are starting to stack up. Yeah. You got a lot of things. You did your first big campaign for GE. Mm -hmm. That was pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, when, you, when you go in and like they hire you to dance and they're down to like pay you money for that. Like, I, I mean, is that surreal for you? Because, uh, I mean, dude, just when you were six, you were back in Pittsburgh just yeah. doing your thing, learning. Yeah. I never knew that it would come this far. I thought I would just be a little dancer that would just, you know, go to competitions and go to nationals and win titles, but I mean, it's been crazy since that TV show that just like came on and I didn't know what was happening when I was sick is because I was like, I was sick, so I didn't really know anything. <laughs> yeah. But What does anyone know when they're sick? Yeah, really, so, <laughs> but it's so crazy. I mean, so so the goal when you first went in to take dance lessons, it was to do nationals and maybe win yeah. some titles. Right. But it was never, you know, I mean, because let's be real, there's not a ton of super famous dancers. <laughs> they don't really exist, and it's not it's not necessarily a field that people get paid a ton of money to be in. Yeah. Right. So okay, all life goes crazy. The show you blow up. What do you remember from when you were six? Like, is there anything at all? Like. Like, when you think back to that time, um, besides cameras being in class? Yeah, I don't really, I didn't really have a childhood, I would say, because, yeah. I mean, I didn't get to do all the stuff that the kids would do, like, go to the birthday parties or stuff, because I was always dancing. So I didn't really remember much. I remembered a lot of screaming. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't in the dances when I was little because, you know, I wasn't that good of a dancer. I didn't really want to dance when I was little. Okay. My mom kind of just put me in dance because my sister was dancing. Got it. But then I loved it after a while, so I'm glad she did. But <laughs> I mean, that was that, <clears throat> obviously like a life-changing move. Yeah is to, to, to be be in those dance classes and take it on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cameras, you don't remember much. You remember screaming, obviously, because there was so much <laughs> high... It was a high-intensity thing. Yes. There's a high investment in... Mm -hmm. any, even, okay, so I took dance classes growing really? up. Really? Oh, yeah, I was a tap can. dancer. <laughs> oh, really? I love I, tap. I did for six and a half years. That's awesome. And I was not going after any national titles or anything <laughs> like that. And they were... I mean, the pressure was high. Mm -hmm. It was real. The, the teacher was intense. The parents were intense. And a lot of the kids... They were intense too. Yeah. Right? Like, it, and it, all over, like, something that maybe, maybe could be seen as meaningless, but for you ended up becoming a real career. Mm -hmm. Are you happy that somebody around you was taking it seriously? Or do you look back and think to yourself, hey, you know, maybe if I did go to that birthday party instead of, you know, that extra rehearsal, mm -hmm. it could be different. I mean, I'm really glad that I did, you know, like dance my whole life, but sometimes I wish that I was just like, a regular kid when I was little because some things my friends are like oh you should have came like to this birthday party or like you should have mm -hmm. came to this like event or something but you couldn't because you have dance so like sometimes I want to hang out with my friends and be a normal kid yeah. but like I think it's so awesome that I get to do these opportunities yeah it's it's amazing yeah. and, and by the way like that's something that everybody deals with by the way there's been like online trends of people like couldn't do it because I had dance or because mm -hmm. I had rehearsal or recital or whatever yeah. it may be there was a hashtag trending. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was a regular kid and it wasn't all that cracked up to be. So. Yeah, you're not missing out. <laughs> you, you, you have it. a better life than all these other kids anyway. <laughs> yeah, but, but you're you're still living life as a kid. I mean, you're only 13 years yeah, old. right. Is it weird or is it natural to you to kind of live this life with a lens around? And maybe it's not camera crews mm -hmm. around all the time, but it's your phone, right? It's yeah. you Snapchatting or somebody else Instagramming. People are still involved. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it was a little crazy when I was six that cameras were just following me around everywhere, and I was kind of freaked out because, like, I didn't know who they were and stuff. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> strangers. Yeah, <laughs> no clue. Stranger danger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now it's normal, I guess. I have to be, like, a big role model on social media. I have to be careful what I post and yeah. be careful what I say because everyone's going to take it the wrong way. So I have to be careful what I post and stuff, which is a big thing that I have yeah. to, like, Huge. focus on. But... I mean, it's cool. It's that, pretty cool. I mean, that's like being 13. That is, there's there's real pressure there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's cool that you understand that responsibility. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people would be in your scenario and they wouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. And that's maybe why they would tweet crazy things or just kind of drive off the handles. Right. Uh, but, but you do manage to be honest. Like you tweeted the other day, drama. <laughs> we got drama. Yeah. What kind of drama are we talking about? I, I just think there's a lot of drama between social like social media influencers uh -huh. and I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> but but isn't that like high school? Yeah. Right? That's life. Mm -hmm. And these guys around you who are also doing their thing on the internet, it's kind of like different cliques throughout mm -hmm. school. Yeah, I think people just like to start drama and they like to you know, start something, but I think we all just need to love each other and just Aww. not. <laughs> She's got it. She's 13 <laughs> years old and she already figured it out. <laughs> love it. Do we think any of these social media influencers are starting drama, maybe to become more famous? Maybe. Yes. I'm not really sure. Just say yes. It's true. <laughs> probably. They want to get their names out there however they can. Yeah, probably. But but you have friends in the influencer world. Mm -hmm. You're cool with Johnny Orlando. Yeah. What a name. Johnny Orlando. I know. Is that his Just, birth name? <laughs> that's his name. Shut up, really? Orlando's his last name? Yep. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. kind of cool. He deserves to be a cartoon character. I like it. <laughs> yep. I like it. That's the new version of Johnny Bravo. Cartoon <laughs> Network, I hope you're hearing this. Is he the one you're on tour with? Yeah. So how does that work on tour? Do you guys like open up for each other? Is like, do you switch back and forth? Yeah, so we do, um, we do his set first, usually, and then we sing a song together, which is closer, like the cover. Okay. And cool. then I do my set, and then we sing our song together day and at the end oh, but cool. we usually have an opener before so this time it's going to be he's one of the social media influencers and his name is uh zach clayton so oh. he's going to be an opener what does he do is he like tell jokes i think he sings <laughs> you think <laughs> yeah he's opening for you and you have no idea what he does <laughs> he sings okay. <laughs> yeah. and zach clayton is he causing drama no he better not be no he better be very sweet. thankful that he's on your tour yeah. <laughs> you know it's the way it works uh, who else we got on my list of social influencers that you know? Carson Lur... L L How do you say his last name? Leaders? Leaders? Oh, wow. It lo there's a U in there. That does not look like leaders to me. Mm -hmm. I was going to say something like Loritas. <laughs> I couldn't tell. But anyway, he's this blonde kid. Mm -hmm. Cool. He he's on the internet, too. Yeah. Are we cool with him? Yeah, he's super cool. You did a cover with him or, like, videos with him. Yeah, we did some videos together. Yeah. How is that col collaboration process? Like who comes to who with the idea? How does that work? I mean, we haven't sang it together. We've done some dance videos together like on the internet, but usually uh -huh. we just like choose to do them and we're like, hey, you want to hang out? And then we just do a video just randomly. Got it. Is it important for you guys, all like you young kids to work together to help like grow each other's fan base? Is that yeah. what you guys do? Is that how you pick who you want to work with? I mean, most of the time we just like to hang out because we're kids and we want to go like places. Like the other day I went to Disney with my friends and it was so much fun. But I mean, it's not really about social media for me, I guess. It's not really about numbers because it's literally just like a button that people click. So, I mean, I like to just be a normal kid and hang out with kids. And doing that, she documents it and that makes good content for the YouTube <laughs> Right? Yeah. So Disney World is first fun mm -hmm. with friends and memories and experiences, and two is documenting those things, mm -hmm. and then people just get to watch it. Yeah. Do you ever think it's just weird that so many people just like knowing what you're doing, even if you're not doing anything, they just like to watch you sit there? Yeah, it's so crazy. <laughs> I think it's weird when people come up to me and they're like, hey, you're Mackenzie, right? And it's like really creepy, you're but like, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like sometimes I go to Starbucks and I like put my name and they're like, I know, I know your wow. name's Mackenzie. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Do you walk out freaking out? Sometimes I get a little freaked out because people, like everyone knows my name sometimes. They so it's didn't like... even have to ask my name <laughs> for the cup. Wow, I like it. Strange. Well, why you? Why do you think Mackenzie is popular? Why do people want to see you do nothing? I have no clue. I really have no clue. <laughs> it's not that cool. Because it goes beyond just being a good dancer and a good singer. Yeah. You kind of just do whatever. Mm -hmm. So when did you decide you want to start singing too? Um, when I was six, I did voice lessons, and then when I was about nine, I came out with my first album, which, I mean, I had no clue what I was really doing. I didn't think it would, 
you know, like take off. But now I've done a lot more singing and I'm really excited for everyone to hear it because I've been starting to write my own music and Ooh, stuff. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so it's a lot harder, but it's really fun. So what has 13-year-old Mackenzie musician learned from 9-year-old Mackenzie musician? Um, I would say when I was 9... You couldn't really hear my voice because I wasn't that great of a singer at nine, obviously, because I was nine. So, I mean, it's m- my songs are much different now because it's more mature. My yeah. songs were like, it's a girl party, like, <laughs> like that. But I think they're a lot more mature and then people can, like, relate to my music and stuff. I mean, Monsters, a.k.a. Haters. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's about haters. Yeah. You know, but it's also about them keeping you up at night. Mm-hmm. Does that happen? Sometimes, yeah. You think about everybody who's saying your name or tweeting about you Mm -hmm. or. Yeah, I just realized that they're all they don't have anything else to do. So they just want to knock you down and stuff like that. But I really just my mom like deletes the comments so I don't have to see it. But I don't really care anymore. Like it doesn't really bother me. So if someone like says a mean comment, I'm like, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. They have, they're just bored. But but, yeah, right? but it only it takes time for you to get there, yeah. right? Because when you first start seeing those comments, it, they they hurt. Yeah, they do. You know, they really they cut. Mm-hmm. They cut deep. Is it weird to you? I mean, obviously we're talking about weird when people come up to you and the people <clears> who know your name. It, 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 sleepless nights regarding people who might you know hate on you or be trolls or whatever Mm -hmm. is it weird that so many people do know your name and people talk about you and you are like there's probably people right now in this moment (laughs) having a conversation about something you posted or somebody's interacting with Mm -hmm. something that you posted yeah it's super weird because when i was little i didn't really think about that when people would come up to me like when I was like nine or something at the store I would like you know my name like that's really weird like (laughs) how do you know my name but I figured out that um it's all about social media like everyone whatever you post like everyone like shows their friends or like tweets it out and it's so cool like how many fan pages there are and they it's just crazy it's also cool to see like the next wave i think of like superstars kind Mm -hmm. of emerging and like getting their stuff together and you know tuning up their music and you know obviously like what are your eyes set on what are you focused on what is your goal i mm, this is hard i really want to be as big as ariana grande or something but obviously (laughs) i won't but like that's my goal i want to like go on tour you don't say you will (laughs) say that's right put it out there (laughs) (laughs) but i want to like go on tour by myself and i think it'd be so cool like going all around the world be so awesome all because of music yeah and obviously dancing too that's the 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 anchor to all of this Mm -hmm. it's very cool do you get a lot of internet hate yeah, sometimes. About like what? What do they say? Or do you just ignore yeah, what do they it all? Possibly it's, hate about you. You're adorable. Stupid- <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's literally the stupidest things. Like, oh, you look so ugly in this picture, or like random stuff like that. Oh, that's oh like so dumb. Like you hang out with this person, you're not cool enough to hang out with that person. Like, oh. who are you stupid. to tell me if I can hang out with someone? Yeah. yeah, it's really stupid. Do you ever feel the need to respond, or you just kind of ignore it? Like, don't you want to just tweet back and tell them to like? I keep, it's a bad word. Yeah, most of the time I want to tweet back and my mom's like, just let it go. Like, it's fine. But I'm like, I want to, like, I want to cream them. Like, I want to. <laughs> right? <laughs> but it's cool. I just let them go. See, that's a good thing to do. All I do is respond to the few people who hate on me. <laughs> I yeah, used to but do you that. you, like, apologize. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. You, you go, say, I'm so sorry. I'm do? so sorry. Well, it depends on <laughs> it depends on what their comment is to yeah. me. But a lot of the times I catch people making idiots out of themselves because they, they say things and they put it out into the internet thinking that nobody, you will ever see it, I'll ever see it, whoever will ever see it. Mm-hmm. And they just say things. They're not expecting you to come back and say yeah. anything and the second you catch them is the second that they feel stupid mm-hmm. and they delete that tweet well yeah mm-hmm. majority of them get deleted mm-hmm. or yeah. they're like apologizing for like seven tweets after them yeah it's crazy most of the time my mom replies to them and is like yes you don't have the right to hate on a 13 year old mm-hmm. like <laughs> <laughs> grow up like do you know what your mother is probably thinking right <laughs> now <laughs> like, stuff like that and i'm like mom just stop it's yeah. fine w- what do we think about your your peers in this world the johnny orlando's the the carson <laughs> leaders or whatever i mean do you think that these guys are superstars too or will only a few rise to the top i they're all amazing singers i think they will go very far especially johnny and carson they're amazing singers at their age and i yeah. i can't sing as good as them they're so good which i don't know how but they're self-taught they don't do voice lessons or anything but i definitely think they will rise to the top cool 
It's nice. It's Zach, to- Zach once told me all of his friends were going to rise to the top years ago, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. maybe one or two have. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. What yeah you told, then one or two did, and the rest of them aren't doing any. Not no, much of them, you know. I, I have a great deal of friends who are doing pretty well in life. I can't you know? all make it. Some of them are selling out stadiums globally, playing in front of twenty eight thousand people wow. in Brazil. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's on her. That's on her vision board. Well, I hope she does make it. Thank you. I believe in that. Keep your eyes set on it, man. You are super, super talented. Obviously, thank you. With a great future ahead of you. Thank you. Um, the girl gang is who is a part of this. Um, so it's all of my best friends, Ruby. Turner, cool. Tati McQuay, Lexi Drew, and Lexi Jade. Now, what do we got? Are, are these influencers too? Yeah, they're social media influencers. So are we going to maybe start like a little creative collective here? Hopefully. We're going to have like, you know, Jake Paul has his 10. Yeah, Team 10. Yep. Team 10. So do you follow digital culture heavily? Yeah. Yeah? Who do you consume? Who do you watch? I watch Jake Paul and Logan Paul and... All of those, like, DIYers, I guess, on yeah. YouTube. I'm more about, like, the makeup and, like, the beauty and stuff. Cool. But talk, talk about a friend who rose and I said would rise is Logan Paul. Do you oh, remember really? when he? Do you remember when he came to do the show? Logan's doing great. Is <laughs> yeah. he? I don't know what he's doing. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? He goes to VidCon and it's like a freaking. It's insane. Yeah. Did you see that video of him getting tackled by security guards? Mm-hmm. You're right, VidCon. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about VidCon. I'm. I'm. She's making us all feel so old. No, nah, I'm. Ho- I'm. Ho- I'm in the hot goss yeah. on the YouTubes. Okay, don't say that. I'm <laughs> very, <laughs> now you're embarrassing everybody. <laughs> I'm tied in, dude. I'm tied in. So you like the Jake Paul? Did you catch the Jake Paul Logan Paul drama? Yeah, that was horrible. I know, and then they have the diss tracks against each mm-hmm. other. And what is he's dating somebody now, a new girl? I don't even know. I feel like it's just <laughs> all for the vlog. Yes, right? yes, somebody called him out finally. It yeah. started with Do It For The Vine. Uh huh. And now what are we doing? Do We're it doing it for the vlog. vlog. Yeah. I I don't know why they're doing that though. Like, get married in one day. Like, it's so random. I mean, that's all nonsense. You think they're really married? Do you think they file, file together on their tax no. return? I don't think so. Just yeah. for the vlog. Doing it for the vlog. <laughs> but you don't do it for the vlog. You no. do it for experiences, memories, and fun. Yep. And then, if people want to watch it, they watch it. Yep. No clickbait with Mackenzie. Yeah. No clickbait. That's what we learned. <laughs> Your song right now, it is Monsters, a.k.a. Haters. I encourage everybody to listen to it. It really is a great record. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations, dude. Thank you so much. You when should are be you really proud of it. put out more music? Hopefully soon, in like the next couple months. Ooh. I mean, a lot of people on tour have been hearing my new music, which... A lot of people know it, I guess, now because they've been like listening to it on tour, but mm. hopefully it'll be out soon. I'm so excited for people to hear it. And you said you're writing, right? Like, so yeah. uh, do we have, like, where are you writing? What's your inspiration? Do you have a journal? Do you go to the, your notes in your phone? What do you do? I sometimes write, like, song l- titles in my phone okay, when I'm cool. bored. Like, when I hear someone say a word, I'm like, oh, that's a cool word. I'm going to put that in my notes. Just but, saving words to eventually yeah. make up a sentence, and mm-hmm. that sentence to make up a story. Mm hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, on the album, will there be songs that you wrote or had a part in writing? Yeah, hopefully. Very cool. Wow. Well, are you are you sick of people talking about your sister, comparing you and your sister, and bringing it up? You just with yes. people just like, ignore it all. <laughs> yeah, just, yes. or call you Maddie. Zach. <laughs> you guys, it was pressure, okay? It's okay, I, it's okay. People, like, confuse me for my sister. But I, appre- like- I appreciate you for you and all of your accomplishments <laughs> and your talents. No, no, okay. Seriously, I don't even, all I know of your sister is Sia. I did, I've done research on you, I you know. It would have been so funny if you did all research on Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> that did not happen. No, it did not. I promise you. No, no, no. But really, I only know Maddie from, uh, it's obviously SNL and then yeah. the Sia thing. Mm-hmm. But uh, back to your question. Well, that was just my question like are you sick of people comparing you to um well me and maddie are really close so we don't get really competitive of each other but when people call me not not oh. saying you not saying you oh. but like, yeah. oh. no you're saying them <laughs> <laughs> but like when pe- my dance teacher would compare me to my sister and be like you need to dance like her you need to be like her and i'm like i'm mackenzie like i don't need to be like her you know amen mm-hmm. <laughs> what was her obsession with your sister do you know i don't know i have no clue it was weird <laughs> yeah. it was like she looked at herself and what she could have become <laughs> and saw your sister and was like i need to put every bit of like my frustration towards not making I it as a so. human into her i guess so yeah. It was not so. I mean, to be honest, it worked. You know, your sister and you are superstars. Mm-hmm. Does that, I mean, when you look back at that cast of all those kids that came up and mm-hmm. everything that's happening now, I mean, do you think, like, wow, you know, my, my life because of this show took a turn that really, I mean, changed it forever? Yeah. 
I mean, sometimes I'm like, I wish I was never on that show because like it was just so much drama. And I'm like, yeah. I guess really nervous. Like when I went on stage, I was so nervous that people would like criticize me because wow. it was just like of my dance teacher because she was very crazy and stuff. But and that's unfair to you. Yeah. So I've been like a lot nervous now, but I mean, I'm glad that I was on that show because I learned a lot from it and my social media and stuff went off, like, I guess because of it. Yeah. So I'm really thankful for it. But like, sometimes I wish that I wasn't on it because it was just like crazy. I totally get it. And and do you think, does that make you nervous perform now or are you performing more free now because you know that she's not in the background yeah. taking notes, screaming, doing whatever? Mm, I definitely think I'm more like free with everything and not as nervous as I was. So. Yeah, you get to be you. You're nervous in the good ways. You're nervous because you want to do great. Right. Not because you want to prove yourself to some crazy figure in the back. <laughs> yep. What was that word? Figure. <laughs> That's figure. the New Jersey way of saying figure. 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 <laughs> I'm from New Jersey and I say figure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, I, I'm, I never really watched Dance Moms. Is that, is that still on? Yes. No. Well, no. Well, like, it's on TV, but it ended. So okay. It's, it's still, like reruns and stuff. Yeah. 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 It's still on, but... It's different now. So if they made, like, a show, like, where are they now? I'm sure everyone knows where you are now, but, like, would you want to be a part of something like that? I would not be... I don't want to be a part of reality anymore, like, ever again. Mm -hmm. Probably, like, a scripted TV show on, like, Disney or Nickelodeon or something like that. Just yeah. not reality. <laughs> Mackenzie... Zig Ziggler. Ziggler. Mackenzie Ziggler. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zigzag. Mackenzie Ziggler. Yep. Thank you so much for hanging out with Thank us, dude. Thank you. Beyond, <laughs> appre fun. beyond appreciated. Thanks Thank for taking you. the time. Thank Give you. it up for Mackenzie. Thank you. <laughs>